Thank you all for tuning in to the re in Inaugural episode of The Lace Up. We've done a 180. We've done a lot of growing. And with this growth, I also want to give everyone else tips and tricks of how you can do the same. I'm not some stuck up nose in the air. Uh, I'm better than you. I don't do that anymore. Type person. <laughs> Couldn't be me. <laughs> We all have our things. We're human. It's human nature. Let's get that down pat first. We are a judgment-free zone on this show. However, you have to be privy to correction. Okay? Because nobody likes to be told anything anymore. You can't tell anybody anything. Don't tell. I don't want to hear that. I have Different people have different moral compasses. I get that. But at the end of the day, most sane people just want peace. I don't want to study war anymore. I want to be comfortable. I want to love people. I want to love my life. It's very hard to do those things in the society that we live in right now. But we strive to be better every day. If you're not growing, we're throwing it away. That's the new slogan. That's the new topic. If you're not growing, we're doing what? Throwing it away. This re inaugural episode of The Lace Up is dedicated to disconnecting from chaos and tuning into peace. There are a lot of things that we need to throw away before we go into 2024. Most people are privy to having a New Year's resolution that we start in January. Every second is a new year. Every minute is a new year. Every day is a new year. Why start at the new year? Uh, that's some of the wildest things I've ever heard. And it's excuses. Well, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. It's procrastination. And trust me, you can't talk to me about procrastination, honey, because I... I, I have a crown. I have a crown. But we're talking about growth. We're talking about getting up and moving and getting it together. And that's what you're going to do. And that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. That's what you're going to do. That's what I'm going to do. That's what you're going to do. I'm going to hold you accountable. You're going to hold me accountable. Okay. And this year we are accountability partners because that's what friends do. These are a few things that I've personally disconnected out of my life. I find that my hair has grown, my credit has gotten better, and my skin has cleared up. We're going to start with the shade room and all celebrity gossip blogs. I need us to understand that as humans, these celebrities, however they may be, they're still humans, but we're more focused on their lives then what's in front of us in our own personal life? That's not okay. That's not what's up. That's not a distraction. They have theirs. We want ours. Stop it. Delete it. Unfollow it. Get rid of it. Tell it goodbye. Second, overconsumption of alcohol and the drugs. S starting to make us look bad. Starting to make us look bad. Uh... There's too much chaos going on to be inebriated and having large laps of judgment for long amounts of time because things happen in the snap of an eye. You will get God. I'm not saying stop. I'm saying slack off it. Bring it back. Reel it in a little bit. Reel it in. Reel it. Reel it in. Reel it in. Reel it in. I had to snap that cord because it just wasn't working for me anymore. It wasn't working in my favor. It's been a while too. I wouldn't say I'm proud of myself and I don't put myself on a higher pedestal for that. It's just that I can't do it. I just don't want to do it. It's not fun anymore. Waking up with bruises and scratches isn't fun. Having 10 day hangovers is not fun. Seeing how much you spent at the bar is not fun. Seeing unsavory videos of yourself afterwards, it's not fun.
You don't know how to control yourself. You are controlling yourself. You're on autopilot, but that's for another episode. Three, cut out people that don't have your same moral compass. If you don't see eye to eye about simple ethical things, let that go because it's just going to lead to chaos further down the road. And you don't even want to have to put yourself in that position to deal with that. You know, it helps. This episode of Lace Up was brought to you out of anxiety and fear because let's be real. I was so nervous to hook everything up and try this again for the uh, umpteenth time. If you go back and look at my digital footprints, this digital footprint is like a thing right now and see where I started. This is big. This is huge. This is grand. And the only thing I can do is just keep this going and keep the momentum going. I'm going to end this episode off on a question. And the question is, for $30,000, would you go two weeks without brushing your teeth, shampooing, or even using deodorant? Assume you can't tell anyone why. Nah, I can't do it. I can't do it. Because I am not going out in the street like that, okay? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Would you do it? Comment below. Let me know. Thanks for tuning in to The Lace Up. See you next week.